Hi viewer, now I will discussion about how to create a tapered column with base plate and create a detail anchor bolt in Tecla structure. Now we are create a anchor bolt just like this dimension uh, and dia and we are follow this chart we are create anchor bolt in this project and we are create a same tapered column section in tecla structure and maintains this label clearly now we are starting this tutorial already we are create this grid before in video now we are modify this grid length and width is ok but we are change only for z axis clear for this clear height we our required clear height and other information in this section now we are modify this now we are typing this dimension uh, in this portion clear height 1200 and 5050 to 50 total clear height we are uh, we are type this all total clear height in this portion now it's copy this portion and paste and typing plus modify then review this now we are create a tapered column create a column we are opening tecla model uk environment so uh, column will be UK hot tool section. Now we can change this. We can create a build up section. Uh, part number M, part number will be uh, determined M and assembly numbering will be C1, C2, C3, etc. etc. Now we are modify this section. Our build up section uh, will be uh, this hi we are select this hi and it will be a, a rectangular i section now we can change profile subtype then this click this option and we are clicking our uh, section will be 4440 this section now i am typing this done apply ok modify we are see this our tapered section now we are some modify other modify top now this font modify now we are create a long grid view create a long grid line create the, uh, we are create a typical section now c3 grid 3 create, we are create this now double clicking this column we are also change our grid we are using 50 now i was typing 1200 6250 okay our required section done now we are move it will be center point now move the center point now in this portion we are create a label plan now we are create 
base plate detail now we are uh, tecla default have more base plate connection but sub connection will be better for tapered connection mm, such as 106x connection number 10014 connection now i will for example i will apply 1014 connection now we are select this column and click center point in this column now we are see this component we need some correction now our base plate thickness 40 and other dimension 140 140 uh, our required information in this portion now click part and 40 thickness and uh, it will be numbering short form now we are typing bp1 stfinner uh, it will be required 8 mm and st 50 grad 50 now typing this full name it will be show in assembly list you can change this base plate th uh, base plate color then you can this any now i will type 3 in this portion we will be uh, base plate all color and thickness uh, go to bold we will be controlling uh, base plate bold bolting now we are select uh, 36 our our bolt will be 36 in this portion main in this in this grid 36 and we are we are anchor bolt required this uh, required this dimension now we are follow this dimension Ho when i uh, bolt modify then we follow this dimension now we are typing this portion 1402 and 2150 middle will be 0 and our bolt size size 36 cannot find if you bolt standard change uh, you if you update uh, or more than now you can find this 36 and tolerance uh, base plate may be 8 thing 8 mm i will type 8 it is my record in this project now modify uh, you can see this some change in this portion now stiffener uh, no need modify we are working anchor bolt we are follow this chart we are modify anchor rod by this this dimension required now we are change this rod profile now we are circle sun section rod now 36 apply now not variable profile not hex hex not hex not size will be 46 46 apply okay washer 75 now click section rod 75 apply okay in this portion we are uh, now we are need a grout chain grout now we are get 40 above anchor rod and it will be uh, hex nut thickness 
35 35 you can see this 35 and washer thickness 10 10 all dimension 1336 36 and it will be 200 and it will be thread portion now modify we can see this bolt now we are record two bolt one washer now we are click this two nut modify you can see this two nut one washer modify so washer now we are also change this ok modify by ok we fetch a problem but it will be cannot uh, setting center now i will center this position setting we are controlling in this portion uh, you can change this portion you can controlling in this center line now i i am changing this Now it will it will be automatically change this. Now all is everything is okay. Now we create a RCC column. When it will be this. And change A shift one. Now we are resize our RCC Now we are close weld. Now we are going to get three. The base plate uh, with tapered column and anchor bolt detail. will be create stiff we are see this stiffener now we move this it will be almost this portion we are also copy this or you can also mirror now we are mirror this the select angle and you can edit world now we can easily create any tapered column and base plate